from brushing your teeth without full hookups, you use as little water as possible. fill up your tanks and have to go dump every other day. Fine. And you brush your teeth with the water off. Okay, I'll dip it in here. That's gross. <laughs> that sink's not that clean. When you're living in an RV, you have to pay attention to your tank levels. Check them daily, huh? Well, there's a battery which is going to be full because we're plugged in. Fresh is empty because I left it empty. Yes, I emptied it yesterday. Figured it was over a month old. Probably need to be empty. Black tank is a third full, which it was like the first time we used it. These things are not entirely accurate. They're more like educated guesses. You also got to check your propane levels every once in a while. Not every day, but you know, maybe once a week or so. Depending on how much of it you're using. Are you using a heater? Are you taking showers in the RV? Kind of, you know. So when you're living in an RV, you don't have a dishwasher. So you gotta do it by hand. When you're living in an RV, you have to huddle around whatever source of heat or cooling you have because the insulation is not as good as in the house. We use our nice little space heater here so we don't have to use our propane, right? I want to be the cold one. You wanna be the cold one? I have to be the cold one too. If we didn't have electrical hookup, we'd have to use our heater and run off the propane and then run a generator occasionally to uh, charge up the batteries right here. You have bunks in your RV, you have to walk your kids in there so they don't fall out of bed. No rowing? No rowing. When you're living in an RV, you kind of have to be creative about how you get internet access. Like with a Wii Boost and a jetpack. When you're living in an RV, your shower becomes your laundry basket. When you're living in an RV, your cab becomes your storage area, as well as half of your son's bed that's really freaking bigger than everyone else's, even their parents. Yeah, you get real creative about where to put stuff. Every nook and cranny, you try and fill it up. When you're living in an RV, you get a P.O. box, and you have your packages shipped to a friend's house. When you're living in an RV, you use public restrooms a lot more often because the toilet in your RV is just small. Unless you've got a really fancy RV with an actual porcelain household type toilet, that's not very water efficient. You use the dump station when you don't have all full hookups. When you're living in an RV, shaving becomes a bigger chore and you kind of neglect it. You have to use the park showers because you don't want to fill up your tanks where you use up your propane. I love these knobs. You gotta push it a couple times to get it to warm up, and it's too hot. When you're living in an RV, you get to see neighbors come and go. In an RV, you leave your shoes outside so you don't get junk on your floors inside. When you're living in an RV, you get to have this as your backyard. RV, you don't have a washing machine. This is not a washing machine. It's a dishwasher we don't have. Oh. Guess what we're doing tomorrow? What? Dumping. Black tanks at two thirds. Hello! Wonder what's in it. Please don't open with this. When you're living in an RV, you get laser tag guns? <laughs> huh? <laughs> How's that work? Well, um, I don't know. Well, we love laser tag guns. Um, that's because, that's the well, they're we good like things to, to inter the entertain us. Yeah. Some light. It is on light. What? Uh, one, two. Well, hold on. Oh, yes, yeah. I... Okay. Just when you're boondocking. Boondocking. Close enough. No. No? No, we're plugged into power. And water. We're not this is how you do the dishes when you don't have sewer hookups. There you go.